I think one of the things that people are going to like about Gutenberg is the ability to easily change the font size, the color of the paragraph block, and the background color of the paragraph block. So here I am ready to go. I'm going to paste in a paragraph. And in Gutenberg, the paragraph is the default block, so it's very easy to start a paragraph. And if I just put my cursor inside the block, which I'm going to do, notice it says block over here. And if I want to increase the size of the text or change the size of the text, I have this drop down over here. I'm not really crazy about this, but you know, it's a way to do it. Look at this huge, small. And then if I want to reset everything, I can just click the reset and I'm back to where I started. If I want to change the size of the font by pixels, I can go, and I'm fairly certain this is pixels. It would make some sense if they did that. And all I'm doing here is just you know, increasing the size this way. And then again, if I want to hit reset, I can do this. Now you might want to say, what happens if you had more than one paragraph? Would the changes I make apply to, let's say two or more paragraphs? The answer is not yet. Let me just show you what I mean real quickly. So I put my cursor in over there. I start a new block. I command V in my second paragraph. And now I'm going to select both blocks. So you can see they're both selected, but it just tells you what you already know over here, that is, you've got two blocks selected. Now, I think in the very near future, you will be able to select multiple blocks and then make your changes on your font size and color and background all at once. Right now, it's not very useful, in my opinion. It's useful, but it's not as good as it will be. So there we have, so I have my two paragraphs. And again, I can't change them simultaneously. But let me, let me just work on this one over here. And what I'm going to do here is, uh, if I want, I can add a drop cap. I'll just show you real quick. So that adds a drop cap. And this is a little quirky, uh, or at least it was last time I looked at this, when I clicked outside. Nope, and maybe they fixed it. So now it looks like they fixed it, so that's fine. So I have the drop cap, which I don't want. So if I don't want to drop cap, just do this little thing over here, undo. Okay, perfect. That's very good. I like the undo button in Gutenberg. And now, let's see, for my, okay. So for colors, yes, that's what I want to show you. If I want to change the background color of this particular block, I just click on here, and I have a different color. And uh, if I want to change the text color, font color, let's say I want to change it to this, that wouldn't be a very good idea because there's not sufficient contrast. You're going to get this sort of annoying little message here no matter what color you pick. I'm not really sure why, but they they tell you that colors are not uh, sufficiently, uh, they're not, there's not sufficient contrast for colors. I think it's probably pretty sufficient right there. If you don't like anything that you've done, you can always clear. This is really nice. That's perfect. The other thing you can also do is if you don't like the preset colors that Gutenberg gives you, you can click on this color picker over here and then choose the color that you want this way. So either way, again, if you don't like anything, just go to the block over here. Let's make sure we have the block selected. And if you don't like the colors, just open this up and click on clear and you're back to where you started. Okay, so now you see pretty easy to change font size, color, background. What about the font or the typeface itself. You can't do that through here. For the time being, you're still going to have to use plugins so that you can bring in different fonts, whether they're supplied by Google or Typekit or whatever. There's many different web font foundries out there from which you can use to draw your fonts for your website. 